This will be the first video in a series of videos I'm planning on making about the deck building and framing, providing a few different uh, examples on how they can be built. And of course, I'll put together a playlist and put some links on the website as well to make them easier to find. So this example right here will be one with a beam. We'll be using a beam that will use hangers to connect the joist instead of a drop down beam, which is what you usually see. And then the joist goes over the beam and it'll attach to the building with a ledger. Now, this right here is something that, uh, you know, it's kind of a standard two inches, uh, two inch drop. The reason for that is to prevent water from getting on the balcony decking and then leaking back into the building. If this was above it or the same height, that could be a problem. Believe it or not, I actually came to one one time where it was two inches above the decking and the person was complaining about water leaks. And when I pointed out to him, hey, you're going to have to lower the deck or rebuild it, uh, that was the end of our communication. We were done. So he wanted a quick fix. Couldn't provide it for him. Now, the balcony deck will usually slope away from the floor. Quarter inch per foot is usually fine. I don't know if you could use an eighth of an inch foot, um, eighth of an inch per foot slope. Um, but you're going to want it to slope off if you're going to be using waterproofing materials got to get a place for the water to go you don't want it setting up there now the posts that hold up the beam for the deck is usually going to be supported by a concrete footing i really can't provide you with a size uh, you would need but this one here has a 12 inch by 12 inch and then it's uh, about 18 inches deep with some type of a some a base connecting hardware and at the top, we will have a column cap to connect the post to the beam. Common, uh, common method for construction there. And hangers. We'll have hangers attaching the joists. The joists here are 16 inches on center. Plywood would be 3 quarters of an inch. Now, what you see here are regular hangers, but at the end, of all of the corners, even up on on the ledger, we are going to be using inverted hangers. And inverted hangers work great for these areas uh, here. You know, if you have a flanged hanger, you can actually bend the flange over. I've seen that done before. That works, whatever works for you. And the ledger, inverted hanger, regular hangers, and um, lag screws here that are going to be attaching the ledger to the to the uh, building here um, lag screws a size I don't know three eighths of an inch half inch might be required and they're usually going to be 16 inches on center staggered staggered uh, screws or nailing is usually going to be an upper row at 16 inches apart and then a lower row that would somehow meet in the middle and then go 16 inches from there. So we would have, we would come in eight inches and then go up. And then if you came over eight inches and then went down eight inches and then went up, this would basically be an example of staggered um, lag screws. And that is what it would look like after it is done. Plywood sheathing, beam, joist, posts, and uh, looking good there. In this example, I went ahead and moved the balcony over. The other balcony was uh, even with the corner here. And uh, you could basically locate something like this uh, around any part of the building as long as the wall would support it. And that could actually be a problem. And it's something I'm going to address in the second video. With I went ahead and put a window in here to uh, just to give you an idea of the fact that you might need to change out the header if this is going to be too much weight on a window or a door opening in there. More of that in the next video. And wanted to also show you how you could lower the base connectors. That's one thing that uh, you kind of think, hey, wait a minute, that other didn't uh, look very good. I got you. Just trying to throw some other stuff out there. And you can see here with these would have a footing underneath them 
um, but they would sit on top of sit on top of a patio slab somehow. So anyway, that is it for this video, and don't forget to check out the rest of the videos on balcony framing when they are done.